Hi guys, this is Susu. Today I'll be teaching you everything you need to know about Dino Caucus Radio Durans. Here's an image of the organism. Dino means terrible berries, and radioderm means radiation surviving. D. radioderm is a berry shaped bacterium. The cell stains gram positive, yet, this bacterium has a cell wall similar to that of gram negative. When grown in culture, smooth colonies range in colors from red to pink. The bacteria is usually between 1.5 to 3.5 micrometer in diameter. Single bacteria undergo binary fission into two planes, leading to the formation of tetrarchs. D. radioderm was the first classified in the genus Micrococcus, which are the first group of gram positive cocci. It was removed from that classification, however, after the discovery of its unique cell wall and lack of tachyonic acid in its peptidoglycan. Later, it was discovered that the phyla thermus and dinococcus were related. D. radioderm was discovered in 1956 by Arthur Anderson. Experiments were being performed to determine whether canned food could be sterilized using high dose of gamma radiation. A thin meat was exposed to the radiation and was thought to kill all microbes. However, the meat is subsequently spoiled and D. radioderm was isolated. The complete DNA sequence of D. radioderm was published in 1999. This organism has a unique quality in which it can repair both single and double-stranded DNA. When damage is apparent to the cell, it brings it into a complemental ring-like structure where the DNA is repaired and is then able to fuse the nuclei with the damaged DNA. This organism is an obligate aerobic chemo-organoheterotroph, which means that it uses oxygen to derive energy from organic compound in its environment. It is often found in rich organic materials such as soil, feces, meat, or sewage, but has also been isolated from dry food, room dust, and medical instruments. The organism is also extremely resistant to ionizing radiation, UV light, hydrogen peroxide, many other DNA damaging agents, and can also survive without water for a long period of time. For metabolism, it uses pentose phosphate pathway to convert glucose into DNA building blocks. It also contains phosphate and carbohydrate granules used as source of energy. Not only that, but the cell also synthesizes nucleotide with the polyphosphate. The life cycle of this species includes a cell replication phase, followed by release, drying, and dispersal. Dry Dino cocci can endure for years, and if blown by wind through the atmosphere, we expect to survive and land worldwide. The protein REC A plays a major role in D. radioderm because it allows organisms to be able to restore its genome completely without mutation after sustaining as many as 100 double-stranded breaks per chromosome, as compared to E. coli, which can only withstand up to three double-stranded breaks per chromosome. Another important role that helps the survival of D. radioderm is manganese 2 cations. The presence of this molecule is the key to why D. radioderm is immune to radiation. In one experiment, some scientists added manganese ion to the cell of E. coli and found that it increases the cell viability when exposed to radiation. D. radioderm has not been associated with any disease in host organism, nor has it been shown that it has any symbiotic relationships. Since its discovery, it has been deemed the toughest bacterium in the world. Not only can it withstand and repair DNA damage at the extreme amount of ionizing and UV radiation, but it can also survive droughts, condition, and grow in nutrient-poor environments. 
Its specific ability makes it one of the most interesting bacteria in science today, because studying and understanding its mechanism can lead to nuclear waste pickups. Another major focus of D radio drilling is trying to understand and control its radiation resistance. Currently, cancer patients that go through chemotherapy have problems with their immune system, hair, and nail loss. This is because the radiation is damaging every cell in the body, not just cancerous cells. However, if scientists can harness the bacteria's radiation resistance, non-cancerous cells might be able to be protected from the radiations, which is why people should know about this organism.